What's up guys, welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. Today, we're talking about spiral cups. So how to get that, those ridges in there, if you've seen like the just looks super cool, feels good in your hands, kinda got ridges to hang on to. It's really not that difficult of a technique. Once you've done it a couple times, the first few times are kinda like wonky. But yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna throw a bunch of them. I'm gonna, you know, throw a cup, cut it in half, show you how to do it. So yeah, it's super exciting. Spiral, spiral cups. I don't know, there's a lot of people do this. Joel Cherico, Old Forge Creations on Instagram does it. I've been doing it for years. Let's get into it. We just got like so much snow last night. Oh, I'm so ready for winter to be over. Oh my gosh, I spent all morning plowing. All right, let's do it. These spiral cups are available for purchase on our Kickstarter right now. So if you wanna go help us build the studio, get a sweet spiral cup that you're about to see me make, go check out the Kickstarter. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's do this thing. Let's do it. So there's really two different ways that I like to do this. One would be like to pinch with one finger and then two fingers and then go up. And the other is to just do one and one and have one on top of the other. So I will show you what I mean. As always, get centered first. Do the normal shenanigans. Okay, so we got our cup right at about what we want, where we want it to be, right there. It's a good thickness, good even thickness all throughout, right? So now, the first way that we'll do it is we're gonna take two fingers on the inside and then one finger on the outside and we're basically just gonna like hold it in there and then as it spins, we'll slowly bring it up. Okay, ready? like that. Bam. So that's probably the easiest and most consistent way to do it. And then I always like to make sure that the rim is circle after doing that. I take a wood tool, run it around the bottom edge there. And then I think I don't always do this, sometimes I leave it on a bat, but I think I'm gonna take these off a bat just to save space. So what I'm doing to take this off is I put a little water on there, and then I take my wire and I just run the water right underneath. And then this can slide. Numero uno. All right, number two. Number two. And since these are cups and not mugs, I, and so I'm not putting handles on them, I wanna make sure that they are like skinny, skinnier, because it's easy to get them really wide, which is fine if you put handles on them, but then your hand doesn't really fit around it, so. Okay, so ready? So this time, instead of taking two fingers on the inside and one in the middle, we're just gonna go one and one and go up like that. So I have this finger on the outside is right here. The one on the inside is a little bit lower. So then we'll just push in. So basically I'm just like pushing from the outside right underneath all the way up. And I think, I don't know, I don't know which, which style I like better. I think this one's a little bit more, I'll say like organic looking. It's a little bit more like the spiral is more natural. I feel like the other one 
the spiral kind of, I don't know, I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, so this one I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna throw it, cut it in half to show you what it looks like on the inside. So that, maybe that can help you. All right, I'm gonna leave it just a little bit thicker so that when we cut it in half, it doesn't just like fall over on me. And this is a really good exercise if you're a beginner and you wanna really like tell how good at throwing you are. It's really, we did this in college when I was taking classes. It's really good to cut it in half. So we're just gonna like that. See that? And you wanna make sure that, see how the even thickness on the bottom and the even thickness on the top? So this is a really good thing. If you've never done this before, I would definitely recommend throw in a pot, cut it in half, and look at the thickness. Cause you don't, you want it to be basically the same width all the way up. And this is a little thicker than I normally would do, but. So the, the first way that we did with the two fingers on the inside, basically you started spinning really slow and you're just like pushing it in like this. And then as it spins, you're just bringing it up like that. So that's the first way. The second way that we did it was just with one, the outside finger here and the inside finger there. And then as it starts to spin, spins really slow, you just go Just like that. And that's what creates that spiral. One thing I'm playing around with um, is a buddy of mine, Brian, thinks that for a right-hander, the spiral should go the opposite way. So I did a couple that were starting up here and went down. So that's just a fun fact. Fun fact, now we're gonna go into a, a sweet B-roll section of throwing some of these spiral cups. Ready? Shh. friends spiral spiral cups that was the video today I think that's it for this video if you want to buy any of those spiral cups I got them on the Kickstarter so head over to the Kickstarter you can buy spiral cups you can buy mugs you can buy JTP t-shirts you can buy it's just so many things you can get on the Kickstarter you can help us build a new studio. <clears throat> Basically, it's just a way for you to prepay for pottery. Yeah, that's it. I think I want to start. I want to start a thing. Throwing thoughts. Thursday throwing thoughts. So I'll put up a video on Thursdays, and all I'm doing is just I have a video like this where I'm just throwing pots and I talk about the thoughts that I'm having while I'm throwing. What do you think of that idea? Do you like that idea? Do you like this giant light over here? That's really cool, isn't it? So this spiral technique works really well for cups, 
because it like fits your hands. But you can also do it on bigger pots too. As I am going to demonstrate for you right now at the end of this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share, all those things. Go visit the Patreon page if you want to win pottery. We send out pottery once a month. Hit me up on Instagram. Oh, we're doing hashtag 30 plates in 30 days. There's a uh, an Instagram challenge that I'm doing with some other great potters on Instagram. So go check that out. Ready for this? Ready for the spiral? Ready for the spiral? All right, here we go. Get her going slow. Boom! There it is. We'll see you in the next video. Go have an adventure. Next video, or one of the next video teasers, right here.